Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Legends. In the last episode, we defeated the pirates. Uh, defeated actually two of the pirates. We haven't defeated the third one, and we will actually be doing that uh, very soon. We defeated Tron and Bon, uh, the young, the uh, I guess the only girl in the uh, trio, and then the baby brother of the uh, the pirate gang. And now, I mean, we didn't really do as good as I was hoping we would do. Um, like destroying this wise, but we'll be fine. Uh, and check our equipment here, make sure we have everything. Yeah, this looks good. Uh, do we have that equipped? Or did we? We didn't even equip that. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to equip the machine buster. Because I uh, don't really like the grenade one. Oh, it is equipped, apparently. Okay. Never mind then. See if we can enhance it in any way. Oh yeah, we have no money. We enhanced it last time. Forgot. Sorry about that. Um. So, what we're going to be doing is going back and saving the inspector because he is uh, kind of little in over his head when he's uh, going after the uh, pirates. So we're gonna to talk to this guy right here. And the inspector has left. Uh, has left to in arrest the pirates. I wanted to go too, but it was just important for someone to stay on guard to us. Uh, eh, someone to stay and guard the mayor. Sorry, I was getting really tongue-tied right there. Alright, so, it's kind of the same thing as the uh, very first boss that we fought. Kind of just run around him and just shoot the piss out of him and die really quickly. <coughs> Sorry about that. I had to take uh, some medication that I should have probably took before I started the recording, but I didn't think about it until after. And if you're wondering, I don't have like really major disabilities or anything. I get frequent headaches, and uh, my doctor gave me some ibuprofen for it, so I take that. So we're gonna come over here real quick, and uh, ah, my toe itches. Uh, there we go. All right, so we come in here, and there's a bunch of kids. Well, I mean, there's a bunch of people. Sorry about that. Nothing like this has ever happened in in the history of this island. The police don't have any kind of weapons. That can stand stand up to those pirates. Well, don't worry. I have the weapons. Oh, it's you. Those pirates' weapons are too strong. We can't get close. It'll only be a matter of time before they find the treasure. We've got to do something, but what can we do? I thought I would be safe here. But there's nowhere to run. They're everywhere. Maybe this is the legendary disaster that's supposed to happen to the island. We never expected them just to be this strong. They're more, uh, they're more than just a um, run of the mill thieves. Oh, never heard that quote before. I usually don't talk to these people in here, so I just kind of keep continuing on because you don't really have to talk to them. You can, you can shoot those guys up there, but we won't be doing that right now. We'll actually just be, ah, actually we're going to skip all these guys. I really don't want to have to fight them right now. We don't need to right now anyway, so. What we're going to do first is we're going to come up here. Run. And you jump over here. Jump over here. And we're going to come back behind here real quick. Uh, so this is what the uh, machine gun looks like when you fire it. It's just real fast. So we're just going to destroy these guys real quick. That way we can get them out of the way and they quit shooting at us. Ah. And what we, what we came over here for is, of course, to check the uh, check the garbage pail. And to check that box there. So the garbage pail is empty. And the box. box I know has something in it. Safety helmet. Very, very useful. 
So what we're going to do is we are going to go back to roll real quick. Um, I won't be fighting and defeating most of these guys because it's kind of a waste. They don't really give that much um, money. I'll kill this guy real quick. If you can get behind them, uh, they don't see you at all. So you can just blow them up real quick. But they don't give that much. So Actually, they have a blue, big blow? Or I guess they didn't have a big one. So we're going to come back and we're going to talk to Roll because that safety helmet um, turns into the helmet, uh, which Mega Man is very known for, is his helmet. Well, not very known for, but he kind of looks weird with just hair, like uh, normal. I'm going to keep the helmet on. I think it does actually give you a stat boost, too, so we'll definitely put it back on. All right, so go down here to item development, click OK. And da-da, bam. Your safety helmet was used to make the helmet. Look, I realized this helmet, um, I resized this helmet to fit you perfectly. If you wear it, you won't get knocked down by enemy attacks as easily, as easily as before, and you'll be able to survive long falls if some one throws you off a cliff. Of course, you're not invulnerable. You should still be careful, but I bet you'll, I bet, but I bet it will come in handy if you get into a fight with in a high place. Um. I don't really think you're ever going to encounter a cliff. Actually, I know that you're never going to encounter a cliff uh, or anything like that. So it's kind of a little stupid that she would say that, but eh, whatever. So, bam. Equip the helmet. And now we're going to continue on. So now he looks like actual Mega Man now. Like Mega Man from, like, the actual original Mega Man series. I'm glad this thing has a really long range too, because maybe I can kill him before. Yep. Get the health. And this one. Yeah. We'll leave the rest of it. It's fine. All right. Now we're gonna actually continue <clears throat> continue on with the actual story. I probably should have healed too. Yeah. Oh well. No. No. Oh, that was crap. You are not going to shoot me. Forget you. Get away. I just want to kill him. Get my revenge. Get these big crystals out of the way. I love the soundtrack to this game. So I'd probably be help more helpful if you guys could hear it if I put it up closer to the mic. There's a refractor inside. 200 bucks. Not bad. You know. Not the best, but it's still not bad. It's a garbage pail. Yeah, we know. And that one's empty. That's lovely. Alright. So, see if they're in here yet. No. Okay, so, um, Jim and his gang will actually come here, and this is actually one of the side quests that you'll come and deal with later. So we're just going to dodge these guys real quick. Not try to get into a fight with them. And actually, before we run right in, uh, we are going to use our energy can our yeah, energy canteen because I don't I think this is right where the uh Oh, I guess not. Well, I take that back then. Let's shoot him real quick. Ha Haha, you missed. Uh, I thought there was a bigger, bigger one over. Let me shoot this guy. Yeah. How does that feel? How does that feel? How does that feel? It doesn't feel too good, now does it? Bam. Let me get my stuff. Let me get my money. Let's see if I can sneak around him. Can I? Can I? Can I? No. Not so much. And right over there where uh, you see um, data is the actual, uh, like, where we continue. But we're not going to go over there just yet. There is a little um, item that we want to get so we can get behind them. Sweet. So we're just going to shoot with the uh, machine gun. And that item is right here. It's a flower. Uh, 
basically what the flower is, is it's just a little item that you can give to, uh, I, I don't know, for some reason I can't remember her name, uh, give it to Roll, and it's not anything, like, special, it's just kind of a little side quest thing you can do, uh, you give her, uh, the flowers, and Mega Man, it looks like the pirates are digging a big hole or something on the other side of this passage. Be careful. Bam, so we're gonna refill real quick. Uh, I don't even remember what I was saying now. Oh, but it's just, uh, there's three items you can get, and I know, and uh, later on when we get the flutter uh, fixed back up, you can uh, see him in her room, so. It's kind of cool, I mean, just little things that you can find throughout the uh, game that you can give her. One's, a, I think, a, I'm trying, I don't even remember what they are. We'll find them, though. It's just, it's, like, stuff that I think you'll see, like, like the flower, just kind of random. Bam. So you can just kind of just do this bob and weave thing if you have the same setup as I do, which is pretty freaking awesome setup, because... You have the, uh, ah, no, damn it, are you serious right now? Uh, the range, because the range is very good to have right now. Oh, you can just kind of, well, never mind. Uh, you can just shoot them far away. So this one, uh, this boss is really annoying. Uh, I died a couple times uh, actually doing it myself. Uh, and I may die during the recording doing it. So, I hope not though. Ah, no. Okay, so what we want to do is just as fast as freaking possible you want to get up to safety. And you may not think it, but this is up to safety. Because uh, when he shoots it, it misses. And just make sure that thing does not hit you. And what we're going to want to do is... So we're going to want to jump back down here. And if we get the chance, ah, you want to jump right on the back of him. Oh, that might help just a little bit if I can get up top. No, no, not cool, not cool at all. Ah, uh, no, uh, no. So I missed the jump. You got to get it just right in time. Uh, and if you if you get it back on top, if you can get um on top of him, God dang it. Jesus, this is not cool. Sweet. So he missed us. Um, But if you can get right on top of him, uh, when he opens the bay doors to let the little like bird things out, those things right there, 
like right. Yes. When you shoot, um. So every time he opens that, no, we're not falling off, and we're going to use the last three of our energy canteen because we do not want to die. So every time he opens it, we just shoot, and I'm going to use the uh, gun this time. Uh, so you just basically, the biggest thing is just to get up here, and then you just spam your uh, attack against him. And I, apparently I found a magic spot where you don't get attacked, so I would definitely use this spot. Bam. And you can just jump off and then... Just gonna check the uh, time real quick. Oh, dang. I thought it was going to take a lot longer than that. <sighs> but now we've actually like opened up a lot more. Uh, but we've definitely opened it a lot more now. Because uh, some of the other, other uh, sides of the island are going to be open now. And uh, that will give us the opportunity to go collect some stuff. Some stuff that we will need, definitely. Yeah, I guess we can do that. I'll head back to City Hall. It's kind of cool because it does it for us. We don't have to walk all the way back. I mean, it's not that far, but still. The coffee sure does taste good. I don't know if you guys heard that, but one of the uh, serve bots said that. Thought it was pretty cute. Mega Man, good going. You showed those pirates who's boss. Now let's see who else is boss. He's he's standing up on top of the broken dresser. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One sec, I'm gonna take my hat off. Sorry about that. It was uh hurting my uh ear. I know, I mean, it doesn't sound like it would, but it, with that and then the headset on it, starting to hurt.
information to dig in the island's subcase. Just let me know if you find anything that can tell us about the treasure or that disaster that's supposed to happen if the treasure is disturbed. And I hate to mention this, but if while you're digging you find anything of value, it would mean a lot to us if you donated. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Talking about, uh, she wants money to be able to restore this, uh, town, which is understandable. I mean, we kind of left it in shambles. Well, we didn't, but the, uh, do you want to make a donation to the restoration fund? Yeah. All right. Oh, thank you so much. I wonder where we should start. Oh, holy crap. Damn, 10,000? <laughs> uh, all right. So, we, I don't think we have any money to donate now, but, uh, the first thing we we're going to want to do, I think, is the bank. Uh, that's going to be the first one we're going to want to get. Uh, but we'll come back to that later. So let's talk to Gramps real quick. The shocks must have been strong to knock it over. Or knock, the, knock it or knock this over, whichever. Doesn't really matter. Uh, now we're going to head to a new portion of town that we weren't able to go to before. Uh, it's in the west city, I guess. Uh, it's called Uptown. Actually, let's see how much money we do have. Or not change. Enhance. Uh, so, oh, actually, we do have 5,000. Um, well, since we do have 5,000, what I'm going to do, 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 do uh, we're actually going to gonna charge real quick. All right, we're, we're going to go uh, back into there, and we're going to do the, uh, we're going to give her uh, $4,000 for the restoration of the bank and the police station, because those are both uh, places that we're going to want to have built back up. What can I do for you? I'd like to make a donation. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we're going to do the... Yep. That's fine. Bam. Give her 2000 And you can give her whatever. I mean, you can give her like a dollar to basically... Or one zenny to do it, but... Uh, I'd rather just pay it off in full, you know. Uh, but like I said, there's, there's mi side missions that we're going to have to do... Um, to do the, uh, to, there's side missions that we're going to have to, ah, crap. There's going to be side missions that we're going to want to do, and, uh, they involve the police station and the, uh, uh the bank. So we're going to need those, uh, start to be built back up. And we'll come back once we have 5,000, and we'll, we'll do, like, the condominiums and everything like that last. Uh, actually, never mind. All right, so now we're going to head over to the extra spot that we couldn't get to before, which is called Uptown. And we can actually, if you press select, you can actually see uh, we got Old City and Uptown. We can go to Old City, but there's no real point in going there now. Um, the only thing there is a um, a bunch of dogs that you that will like bite you. They'll like chase after you and like try to kill you. So, I recommend not going there right now. Because, uh, you really don't, there's a, uh, well, analog sticks acting weird. Um, but, you can go there before, or you can go there now, and basically just, I guess, kick the dogs, which is kind of messed up. But, you can do it, I mean, if you want to. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to come over here first, over to these trash cans. It's garbage pails, is there anything inside? It's empty. All right, so broken propeller, that's what we wanted. That is the number one thing that we wanted right now. So this is Uptown. We have, of course, right here uh, is like, it, here's the museum. Uh, right in front of us is the hospital. Uh, these are just like little houses and stuff like that. That is the uh, TV station. We'll be coming back there. Um, we'll actually be coming to all three of these big buildings, the TV station, the uh, museum and the hospital. These are all side missions that we'll have to do uh, much later, though. And we're gonna leave uh, that right down there. The artist that you see painting uh, is the actual curator for the uh, for the museum. You can't get in there right now uh, because she's out here doing painting and stuff like that. So you got to talk to her and do a couple things, but we'll we'll save that for later. So. We're going to walkie-talkie. Okay, Mega Man, I'll see you soon. Just because uh, now that she's here, she will actually have um, 
uh, like you'll be able to come back and forth from here uh, now. So now that we have the broken propeller, we have a very, very good um, the broken propeller or the broken motor, the broken propeller, and the broken cleaner were used to make the vacuum arm. Um, this arm is different, or is a little different. You can't use it to attack with, but you can use it to e easily gather up uh, shattered refractor shards. It, like it says, it sucks up money. Basically, it is fantastic. Um, I, it's probably my second favorite. Well, I guess third favorite technically. Um, over like I guess the uh, the ultimate weapon. I actually go back um, because it it sucks up your money basically I mean that's that's awesome so we're gonna wanna we're gonna boost the range up real quick uh, we don't really have that much money so I just figured boost the range up uh, actually we're gonna have her we're gonna have her take us to uh, downtown real quick because we want to go to the um, we're gonna go to the junk store because we want to refill our energy canteen first. And plus we have to go um, to Cardon Forest anyway. Because that's where the uh, that's the first place we're going to go to do the, um, the sub-gates that, uh, um, that the mayor was talking about. That's the yeah, first place. This first sub-gate that we can go to. So refill your canteen. Now let's see. Oh, it's already full. I was like, what? It cost? What the hell? I didn't know it cost. That's crap. Oh, a flak jacket. We want one of those. Mm, blast unit, sniper unit. Hmm, let's see here. So, attack one, energy two, energy one, range two. Hmm. Nah, we're gonna stick with what we have for right now. Uh, it, we, we'll come back for that. Actually, but what we're going to do... We'll see here. I'm trying to think. Um... Nah, we'll be fine. I was thinking I could, uh, I was gonna pause the video and do kick the can so we can get that flak jacket, but, uh, we'll deal with that later. So as you see, we have the, uh, regular bar still. Um... But it sucks up energy, and we will have that maxed out um, soon. That's kind of why I was thinking to have doing the uh, kick the can, but I think we're going to wait for now. So there's the flutter. The flutter is still, still down, but uh, we will get that fixed soon. Well, not soon, but soon enough, you know. So we're going over to... Keep going. Keep going. So here is one place that we can go in, and I actually think we're going to go in here first. Um, where we where we're like to continue on with the story is right over there next to that lady. We'll talk to her, and then uh, she'll tell us that uh, pirates are over there, of course, because you know they're not going to stop. So, uh, but we we'll check that out later. We're going to come through here real quick because there's always little goodies that we can get in here. Make sure there's no... Well, making sure there's no... Uh, bam! I was making sure there wasn't any... Uh, see, and then... Bam! Just suck them up. We ain't got to do nothing. We're never going to miss any more of them. Because these, uh, those big ones, like, let's see, we'll check our money now. See, we have 15, almost 1,500 now. Whereas before, we only had, like, we had zero. So, we had no money, and now just by doing that, just killing those two things, we have 1,500. Usually, we wouldn't be able to get them all, but with this, we will. So we're just going to run through these. Ah! No. <laughs> I was going to let them destroy themselves, but uh, I didn't want to take the chance of like dying. That would suck. 
So as always, just run around the room, make sure you have everything tracked out on your map, because you don't want to end up missing something. We're going to come up here, and we're going to try to dodge these, because we really don't want to get hit. And we'll go as far as we can, because of course you can't go all the way. Oh, I remember this. This is always fun. Oh, is he not in here yet? Oh, yeah, he is. Here's the big boy. So it's the same thing as the first boss, but with two arms now. And we're just going to sit here, run around him, and attack. Bam. Oh, snap. I thought he died. Ah, do not kill me. That's going to suck. I oh, almost got hit right there. Not good. Dang, this thing's got a lot of freaking health. It gives you a lot of money, though, so. And I think he responds every time, too, so. Definitely don't be afraid to uh, come down here and get some money from him. I mean, later we definitely will have a lot more attack power, so we'll be able to kill him a lot easier than this. But our main objective is just to get as much money as we can to do the rest to, um, the restoration and uh, to be able to buy the flak jacket and some more... Um, Buster parts. And upgrades too, of course. Bam. Now see how much that was three oh, that was about fifteen hundred. And then we still have these. Which was another about fifteen hundred. So I mean it's not like I said, it's not a lot of money, but I mean, why not? You're not going to lose anything from it. I mean, you may lose a couple things of health, but that's about it. Oh, hey, I wasn't expecting you. No. No. I already know one's waiting, waiting around one of these corners for me. Whoa. Oh crap. It has a lot of freaking damage. Hey, no. God dang it. That was a lot of damage. Alright, so we're going to. Not Bester Parts. Uh, we're going to use our energy canteen because we really don't want to die. Ah! Hey, hey, hey. Hey, there's three of these freaking dudes. I wasn't expecting three. I was expecting maybe one, two. Ah! No! Do not die. Hey, 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 it's not cool. Die. All right, there we go. Swallow up all his money that he gave us. I'm going to go on ahead and kill this one right here. And this one right here. Uh, 
and this one right here. And I'm not mistaken, I don't know. Oh, that's an actual chest. Sweet, and we got 2,000 bucks from that. Um, I didn't know if that was an actual chest, because they have chests in the game. I don't know if we've uh, encountered one yet, um, but that are like fake chests, basically. They just kind of, like, they open up and then um, bombs fall out of them, and then you just kind of have to destroy the chest really quick. But it does give a lot of... Um, a lot of zenny from those, so we may, hopefully if we encounter them soon, we can get some pretty good money out of them. Oh. And now we've came, yeah, we've come to this. I know somewhere around here, right here, there it is. I knew it was here somewhere. So we got an old shield. No, we don't actually get a shield. This is actually, um part of that quest that I was talking about for the, uh, for the, whoa, for, for the, uh, I don't know, my brain's gone dead right now, but, uh, quest for, uh, the museum one of the items that she oh let me you have to let me put this on display blah 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 yeah and I only get one out of that that's ridiculous oh my bad Let's see here I think this is actually like the end not the end but uh, yeah because I think this is actually I think one of these this is a chest yep it's a trap chest But as I said, trap chest give us a lot of freaking money. Now we have like, I think we now we have enough money to go get the flak jacket. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a fake. Oh, nope, Buster unit. Yeah, dang, we've gotten gotten a fair amount of money. And this is back in the uh, original cave, or cave, yeah, or apparently he doesn't recognize this, I don't know why, he's right next to us, um, but the original uh, ruins that we go in to save the old guy, or the, uh, not the old guy, the junk shop owner, this is the same cave, see, bam. Do a little lip. Um, almost called a lipty loop. A looped, loopy loop. Yeah, something like that. To uh, get all the stuff that we can get there and uh, get a good chunk of change too. So we're actually gonna check the time because we're probably coming up in about to. The oh snap! <laughs> I didn't realize that I was uh that far. Um. So we're actually gonna end it there. This is uh. So that's it for this episode of Let's Play The Legend of. Er Legend of Dragon. I'm not playing Legend of Dragon. I'm going to play that later. Um, Mega Man Legends. Sorry about that. Uh, stay tuned next time to actually see us continue on with the uh, story uh, fighting the pirates uh, in one of the subgates. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.